Privateer FX. Coming at you on the Friday, last day of the week. It's been a good week for us. Um, after the Thursday, which was risk on in the beginning, risk off in the end. We kind of got what we wanted as far as crude. Traded up to 71.65 uh, and dropped two bucks. And equities up to 40.40. And then dropped a hundred handles uh, there at the close. So, been a good week for us. Um, we were lamenting a little bit about the gold trade, but then I just punched myself in the face or gave myself a little bit of a baby slap. Um, that kind of FOMO or that kind of bullshit is not super helpful. Um, you know, we trade we are we trade the short term book here. And one of the reasons our sharp is so high and one of the reasons we make money every month is we harvest. Um, and we trade around almost a P&L as much as ideas. So we trade ideas, but we're also trading around a P&L. Um, so I have to remind myself of that, especially because of my, a lot of my colleagues or friends are more trend-following guys. And... At a lot of times we have the same positions on, but they, you know, they obviously hold that shit for, for weeks and sometimes months. And when they hit a big winner, this dollar, you know, short dollar trade is one in particular this last sort of two weeks. Sometimes I get, you know, a little remorseful, uh, but I just have to, you know, give myself a couple of quick jabs. Got a big old nose. Uh, hit that thing a few times will shock shock the system a bit. Um, anyway, moving on. Let's uh, let's see what's going on today. Dollar yen. Look at that first and foremost. Bang. This thing's pummeled. Um, I mean, it's getting um, It's getting a bit stretched, but this can go a lot further than it's dollar yen, right? So this can go a lot further than people think. Uh, are we going to get through 129.86 today? Uh, I definitely think so. Can we visit 130.80 beforehand? Mm, probably, but I think first or early doors. Um, actually, no, early doors is pretty neutral here. I'm not sure what the uh, London. London market's going to do, but we'll be looking to get short dollar yen um, somehow, probably above uh, 130.50. Yesterday, we traded up to 131.65 on just like, you know, typical squeezy squeeze. But... Um, so you just have to plan that into your into your day. There's going to be some squeezes. There's going to be some silliness. But short dollar yen still looks to be the way. Especially, uh, what do we have? The 10-year at 338. Wow. Um, is this going to get through 330? Yes, it definitely is. We think it definitely is. Uh, is it going to go through today? I don't think so. Um we're not super expertise in in bond price action, super experts in bond price action, but um, rates have to go lower for so many reasons. It's it's just silly. Um, so see how we do on this. Let's take a look at cable. The raise yesterday. We talked about fading fading the raise we thought it would get closer to 124 we harvested a little bit we had some, you know we had some tiny little starter positions on um, in the 30s uh, and we just jiggled around with that figure 30 at the fix it was also up at 24 um, sold some up there but now we're square again uh, it's tricky now right like we like this negative dollar story more than we like um, risk off, although we do believe in risk off. So I think you actually you want to try and you want to try and pick up currency. So pick up euros, pick up sterling, sell your dollar yen, 
Um, and so with that in mind, anywhere bet below 122.50 today, we'll try and pick up some cable. Uh, that said, also anywhere above um, 123.80, we'll be happy to sell cable just because it's getting quite stretched. If you look at this closely, we're, we came from 118. This is actually not a mo it's not a massive move. It's you know 500 points in cable is nothing, but it's been pretty quick, right? So we were we were 118 on the eighth. Today is the 24th, you know, two weeks, 500 points, pretty much a straight line with some silliness in between. But we're looking both ways in cable. Crude, uh, if we get sort of near anywhere above 70, 50, we'll, we'll let some of that go again. Uh, let's talk to our CAD. This thing is just just a shitty little pair this this month or whatever we talked about 136.50 and how important it was it really wasn't important at all like nobody it's like who gives a shit um eurocad paid for us yesterday but we got down to 136.30 and bang like look at that candle shit doesn't like it down there i don't know what the fuck's going on in canada or 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 what what the hell's happening here but dollar canada is not offered We've had multiple chances. Crude was up at the, on the 71 handle. Uh, Euro was a 109. Eurocad, uh, all the systems had their sell on yesterday. There was a million reasons Dollar Cad could have just flushed. Um, all the big momentum players are banging this thing. Uh, below 57 at 50 at 45 you, know, you could see it in the price action and I was I was also short uh, you know we we did break trade 136.50 uh, it was an easy scratch um, but a frustrating scratch right so traded to 40 then we traded back to 72 and then we traded to 30 second time down I was not short but just looking at this you're like fuck shit's not bit shit's not offered uh, that's a, that I can say. Is it bid? Um, I don't know. Like, it looks like it's like the fucking nothing burger dollar cad. So, I don't know. Just pointing that out. Let's take a look, quick look at cad yen because this fucker is getting a bit stretched. Um, two and a half sigma is 94.50 today. So, we're, we're getting close to that. The problem with two and a half sigma on any yen pairs you gotta you gotta give yourself some room and 9460 is the year's low so um just be super careful uh if you're gonna fade this we are not gonna fade it because it's friday equities could do something very very silly today um or not like we're not expecting something silly but cad yen dollars are <coughs> we talked about buying this yesterday but we also talked about 804 was going to attract some interest we did get that 801.35 print based on the risk off I, I, I don't understand why this isn't higher um, we're going to be long some of this uh, just at the open here and you know it's a pretty easy stop right you make those new lows but we're going to feather into some longs, uh, dollars are. Euro Swiss. I mean, if you can make money on this pair, like you're fucking Harry Houdini, right? It just makes, it literally makes zero sense to me at all. Or when it does make sense, it takes too long. Or it's, it's just, I don't know, it's such a typically FX pair, which normally I, I thrive with FX because of, the psychosis because of the irrationality um i'm okay with with wonky price and story but euro swiss maybe because i live here i've got too much bias i don't know like yeah they raised yesterday rates are 150 um why is this it why is this lower 
the Swiss economy is, is um, tarnished uh, with this merger. The brand is a little tarnished, the Swiss brand. I mean, we were talking about it last night with some guys about what it means to have, uh, you know, over a 150-year-old bank, like an icon for Switzerland. Credit Suisse is like, I don't, you know, outsiders, I don't think understand this. I, I probably don't understand it either because I am an outsider, even though I've been here for, for 20, 20 mumble years. Um, but it's kind of like, it's kind of like Nike, if their Air Jordans, like, I don't know, started injuring people or something, the brand becomes tarnished and you're like, oh, fuck. Uh, all that said, Swiss franc's just fine, right? Dollar Swiss on its knees. Euro Swiss on the road to nowhere. Um, God bless those who can make money on this. Anyway, we're babbling a little bit here. Uh, and you can see at the open, there's nothing really glaring, jumping out at us. Uh, we're going to wait and try and sell some high ones in uh, dollar yen. And we're going to be trading both sides of cable. So we will be buying low ones. Uh, we will also be selling very, very high ones uh, in cable. Otherwise, we're just going to wait and see how this day plays out. I think the the action's probably going to be the back end of this. Um, Although, actually, Euro PMIs are coming out. The German stuff is marked higher. The French stuff is marked lower. Considering the strikes in Paris and the fucking war zone Paris is, uh, the French numbers might be lower. you got to take that with a grain of salt. The German numbers are most important, 930. Um, if they have a big beat, Euro can, Euro can move. Sterling PMI also. So we're going to have some volatility this morning, which is nice. But the real, the real deal is this afternoon. We got uh, CAD retail sales, U.S. durable goods, and then we also have manufacturing and services PMI in the U.S. So... We'll take a look at these PMIs in the morning, but we're, I think we're going to conserve energy and just get ready to uh, take some bets uh, this afternoon. Anyway, that's all I got for you guys. Uh, good luck out there. Talk to you Monday. Ciao.